is sitting on a toilet with a plant coming out of it? She's weird. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today is the haul video from yesterday's video where Jeffrey and I went to Treasures Flea Market in Mooresville, Indiana. I think I want to say anyway well I got some really good stuff all right one of the first things that I picked up was this uh, green enamel pot this says it's an enamel pitcher but it's it's actually a, a coffee kettle or a tea kettle um, you can see inside some of the enamel on the inside is kind of worn away so it isn't something that I would use necessarily but what a great green color it kind of it's like a Halloween color. So I think this will be really good mixed in with Halloween decor. Or if you're like me and you're really starting to get into some of the greens mixed with reds and yellows and all those bright, fun colors, this would be a great thing to use as a decor piece. I paid $4.95 for it, which was a great price. All right, and I also got... Now, I did get a lot of ephemera. I love picking up and looking through ephemera. It's it's something that's kind of a new thing for me. It isn't something that I used to always look at, but I'm starting to really enjoy looking at it and just kind of just looking at the beauty in the piece itself. And I picked up a, a lot of postcards, a lot of postcards. Um, I'm not going to show every single one of them to you because, you know, we will be here for quite a while. But the majority of them are like the booklet types. Um, and I will be very careful to take all of the prize stickers off of the paper. So I will do my best. This one is, this one was $3, which is more than what I typically would pay for one. But I love the theme of this. And it says souvenir folder, homes of movie stars in California. It has a 1927 postmark on it. So it's probably around that era. And I have been, I've been loving and I've been watching a lot of a YouTuber. He's a travel vlogger and YouTuber called Days with Jordan the Lion. And some of his older videos, he's really going and he kind of talks about old Hollywood and th stuff like that. And I really, really enjoy that. Um, so like here we have Charlie Chaplin's home in Beverly Hills, Rudolph Valentino's home, Harold Lloyd, William St. Hart, Gloria Swanson, Charles Ray, Jackie Coogan, Anita Stewart, um, and Hoop Gibson's home. And it's on both sides. So I don't know. I just think it was just really, the graphics on it are so nice. This is Mary and Doug. Mary and Doug. Douglas Fairbanks? Mary Pickford? Douglas Fairbanks? Probably at their home. Look at that pool. They're in a canoe. They're in a canoe in their pool. Well, Mary and Doug, you got a nice, nice, you got some nice digs there. Anyway, living the laugh of luxury. But then we have Memphis, Tennessee. And again, these are, you know, they're vintage. We have, and I did pay, I did pay $3 for that one too, but I just couldn't resist. This one was Miami Beach. Again, I did pay $3 for it. This was Seattle, Washington, and I think I'm going to send this to somebody if they would like it. I have a little thing that's I'm, that, I'm, that I got ready for them. Um, and Niagara Falls. Northern California. Oh, look at that. Souvenir of California. Just great. This one I bought, I loved it. It was $1.50 for this one single postcard. And it is a portion of the Floor of Fame from Grauman's Chinese Theater. Look at that Grauman's there in the background with the Hollywood lights. And then I found more that were at like a dollar. So I've got, you know, Arlington, Virginia, Silver Springs, Florida, Montreal. Now I am going to put these in lots and I've got some Canadian ones um, that, oh, look at that. Isn't that great? And I'm going to do a lot of Canadian ones, but Augusta, Georgia, Baton Rouge, Portsmouth, Ohio, Dallas, Texas. I mean, there's just some good Columbus, Ohio. I mean, there's all kinds of good ones in here. Oh, there's another. I got two Columbus, Ohio ones, but 
a nice little stack and I will be putting them together in lots and I'll be selling them that way during a live sale. And I paid $4 for this, but I just really, I love the font, like the words that are on here and just the graphics. And it is from Santa um, Catalina. I was to Santa Clarita, but it's Santa Catalina Island in California. Look at the palm tree, but look at the font on here. And on the back. So this is a travel booklet. So I don't know. It's just, just, it's just cool. It's just cool. So I did pay $4 for that. It's like a big postcard booklet. So it's like a bigger size of those smaller ones. I, get, I did get a couple children's books. And again, I'm going to have to work on these to get the sticker off of the cover. But this booth was 50% off. See, that's going to bug me now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it carefully. So these were $2 each. But I have the Barnyard book. And this one's from 1945. It's a hardback book. And this one's Bobby Had a Nickel. Bobby had a nickel. It's a Bonnie book. Pictures are by Emmo. And sometimes that makes a difference. The illustrator can make the books worth a little bit more money. But I thought, look, there's little Jeffrey. Look, there's little baby Jeffrey eating an ice cream with his little squirrel friend. But I don't know. I just really, oh, I guess he's blowing up a balloon in that picture. Um, I just really like the graphics in here. So it's pretty cute. And this one as well has really sweet graphics of... Of animals and stuff in it. Look at that. They almost look like they're watercolored. So I got those two books. They were $2 each. I did pick up some sheet music for my, well, one of them, I don't know. I might keep both of these. I, well, this one I'm definitely keeping. This one is Pound Your Table Polka. Um, One more chorus. But I liked it because of the colors. It's very, it says Halloween to me. So every season I'll be changing out my gallery wall and add different um you know covers to it and then I love this one this was is carousel from the musical and I it's I love the music from carousel and this one was a dollar fifty two and it is Rogers and Hammerstein so I probably will keep that and put it with Easter stuff now I did get um, four more of the True Story magazines. I've sold these before. They're so fun to look through. There is a sticker on the cover, which I will, I'll do my best, but homeless teen, her loneliness led to her evil. And Blood, a story of a mother's deathless courage. But the the ads in here are great. The graphics are great. So this one is from 1956. Um, August 1959s. Are my husband's demands immoral? <gasps> this one is May 1959. He's perfect. Except. I don't know. And this one is February 1956. A uh, captive widow, they wanted my unborn child. Those little taglines that get you going, makes you want to read them. And uh, apparently those were kind of like scandalous. Like viewers have told me that like their moms would be like, you are not allowed to touch this magazine. And you know that makes you want to touch it even more and look through it even more. So let me know. Did your mom like say you are not allowed to touch those magazines? And then you were like, um, okay. And then like when she was gone, you go and look through them. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know. I won't tell. Shh, I won't tell anybody. And then I got these two calendars. Jeffrey had found them first, but then he didn't want to get them. And I love this sort of thing. So I did get them. They were $4 each. This one is dated 1945. And the calendars are complete. A lot of times people will want to buy these because they commemorate some year. Like the year that they were born. Or the year that they, they got married. Or their parents got married. Or... You know, their brother was born. They want to give it to him as a gift. Um, this one has a beautiful lithograph on it. And it says, it just says, Joyous Summer Days. And it's from Low Brothers Paints, um, Clarksburg, Ohio. And it has the old phone number on there, which I really look for when I buy these. Look, don't you just want to go there right now? Look at the sailboats in the background. It is a joyous summer day. 
And then this one I really like too. It says, it is calendar for the year, and it's also 1945. Um, Francis G. McCollister, building materials, hardware, paint, glass, wallpaper, linoleum, stove, seeds, and housewares. Boy, they sold it all there in Clarksburg, Ohio. And here we have two boys playing something with their hatchet there. Mm, might be kind of worried if you saw boys playing with a hatchet these days. Um, actually, this is 1950. It's not 1945. This is 1950. But I love the lithograph on that as well. And I love the scroll work. So I really like those. They were $4 a piece, which I think is a great price to pay for those. And so, oh, and I should have said this. I forget to say this sometimes, but everything that I'm showing you will either be for sale right now. And you can, you can ask me about something by sending me an email to thrift or junk or vintage hunter at gmail.com. And I will let you know if it's still available or they will be sold in an upcoming live sale. I do have live sales every Tuesday and Wednesday um, at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you are following me on YouTube and Instagram and you'll get previews and all that kind of stuff of when the sales are coming up. So make sure that you do follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down below. All right, I did pick up a couple of games. I like these old vintage games to use as you know, as decor pieces or, you know what, sometimes a functional thing. You can use them as crafts. Um, you can use them, well, these, these are checkers. So, I mean, people still play checkers. I don't know that they're all in here, but these are made by Whitman. They were 29 cents back in the day. I believe they are probably plastic. But yeah, they look to be all there. They are self, the self-stacking checkers. It's always good to keep a, keep a checker set around and, you know that's a game that i think a lot of these younger kids don't know how to play and it's a classic game it's an easy game to learn and why not teach your child how to play checkers especially with a vintage checker set um i probably will keep these because like i said it's always good to keep a checker set around and i love the box they're made in the usa they're whitman i liked them another game that i look for a lot are games with word tiles or letter tiles people do buy them and they use them for craft purposes um anagrams is a classic game it's a it's an old school game that i know a lot of you probably do remember playing um i paid two dollars for this i love the box now the box itself has some issues there but um this is a milton bradley game of anagrams and on the inside now i don't know how to play anagrams i don't know if it's something like scrabble or Bananagrams. I love Bananagrams. That's a new game. But it does have all of these little cardboard letters inside. And these people are looking for because they will, they'll, they'll do crafts and things with them. So I do like to find these when I can find them good for a good price because I know that people are actively looking for them. All right. Now we're getting into the non-ephemera stuff like the breakables and the glassware stuff. I did pick up these little home co bears. I just, I just, sometimes I just can't resist these, especially the ones that are um, holiday related. I know that they're just home, home interior or home co, and a lot of people are like, they, they poo poo that. I, however, don't because I have, I do, I do sell these. I thought this was just sweet. Look, it, it's a mama bear and a baby bear, and they're roasting wieners by their fire. Isn't that cute? Now, I don't know if there was a papa and maybe a sister bear at one time in this set, but they are home interior or home co. And I just thought they were really sweet. So sweet. So I got those. I also picked up this horse. I paid $2.25 for it. Um, it is a plastic horse. I, it's not briar or anything. Actually, it has a little name down here. What are you? It's made in Hong Kong. So it's vintage, but it's not, you know, it's not terribly old. It is a souvenir piece from Pioneer Village in Minden, West, no, Win, Minden, Nebraska. I just liked it. I don't know. It was a good price. And I love the little decal on it with a little chuck wagon. Isn't he cute? Little plastic horse. He's got his little reins. I don't know. I like him. Sometimes, and I tell you what, sometimes you do have to go with your gut when you see things because... 
more times than not, I've bought something because I just felt like it. And then I've had people say, why'd you, that, why'd you buy that for? Why'd you buy that for? And I sell it pretty fast. So go with your gut. I'm a true believer in that. All right. I did pick up this Chalkware Fighting Rooster. Look at him. He means business. Now, this would have been in a set, but there was only one of them. And it is Miller Studio 1965. It does still have the hanger on it, but I like the contrast in color. It's just, it's a serious piece. You know, it's this isn't a whimsical, funny piece of chalkware. This is like, this chicken means business. Now, it does have a little chip on the back there, but you can't see it from the front. Uh, so I really did, I thought that somebody else would like it too, or maybe they have this, the other piece and they need this piece. Cause I think that there were two of them and they were, they were fighting with one another. So I got that. I, I don't think I paid very, I think it was maybe a couple dollars is what I paid for that. All right. I did pick up some planters, you know, because that's, I, that's what I'm actively looking for. I love this little purple drip glaze planter. It's just sweet. It's very clean. There's no chips or cracks. It is a USA made pottery. I love the color. It reminds me of a purple jelly bean. Isn't that pretty? Uh, so I really like that. So I got that. And then I did get this little donkey planter. Isn't he cute? Now I do sell a lot of donkey things. I got, I got donkey people. People like donkey things. I like how the wheels are pink and it's got this yellow and green. So I like the colorations on it. Um, this, again, is another American-made pottery piece. It's nice and chonky and good. Look at the donkey's face. He's very derpy, which I think is charming. So I picked him up as well. <laughs> and then I got this planter. Now, I like kitschy and fun and unusual and odd. And here is a hillbilly sitting on the toilet. And it's a, you put your cigarettes in here, and then this is your ashtray. Right there is your ashtray. And it tells you, you know, your cigarettes and your ashes in between his, his legs there. And not only that, you can hang it on your wall. You can hang it on your wall. Now, I am combining this with the planters because I think that this would be great. You could put a little plant in here and hang it on your wall. And then people will be like, oh, my God. You could even put a little air plant right there, you know? And people will be like, oh, my gosh, did you see what she had hanging on her wall? She got a hillbilly sitting on a toilet with a plant coming out of it. She's weird. And you'll say, I know. And it's great. But I don't know. I just liked him. I liked him a lot. I think you all would like him too. He's just fun. Oh, and he was $3. He was $3. And sometimes it's funny to see the faces on the, the checkout. And they're like, oh, I'm buying that for. Okay. That's kind of fun too. All right. And then I don't know. I think that this is a vase and it was $4.99. I have bought these before. I have sold them before on eBay and it is the Cats by Nina. This one's like a calico cat, some sort of a calico cat. It's a Nina, uh, Nina Lyman. It's in great condition. There is a couple little, there's like a little hairline chip right there. And right here, and it looks like someone, you know, took a Sharpie to it to blend it in. So you can't really tell that it's there, but, but it is there. So I do want to note that, but it is signed on the back, Cats by Nina. So I do believe it's like a little vase. See, it's got this little opening right there, but kitty, kitty, kitty cat. Everyone loves a cat. I know I do. And... Everyone loves a dog. This dog, let me just tell you, this dog is pretty pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I, it, it, again, I like to buy breed-specific dogs. Cats will be like, yeah, any cat will do. But dog people like a specific breed of a dog. I don't know what kind of dog this is, but his face is magical. He was $3, which was a great price to pay for him. He is, he was made in Germany. Ooh, is there a signature down here? Ooh. I'm going to have to research this a little bit. Maybe you guys will know. I'm going to show you the bottom first. You see that insignia up there? It's made in Germany. 
There's another little stamp there, which is the same as the insignia. It looks like it has, I don't know. I can't really tell, but here's the back of him. And I'm going to, I'm going to turn him around slowly. I'm going to build up the, the, the suspense. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, you're so cute, but you're so weird looking, but you're so cute. Here you go. Look at his little floof, his little floof of hair hanging down. Look at that face. He reminds me of the flying dog in the never ending story. It was a flying dog dragon. I don't know what kind of animal it was, but it, I had a Laza Opso at the time and the, that dragon reminded me of the Laza Opso after it got a haircut. But doesn't he look like, what was his name? I don't know. I'll see if I can find it and put a picture of him in there somewhere. But doesn't he look like that? Look, his face just looks real. It's sculpted beautifully. And look at his little paws. He's begging, who's a pretty boy? Who's a pretty boy? Look at him. Now, he's in excellent condition. I love him. I just think that he's so fun. And he's so textured and floofy. Ugh. He could be really good. I don't know. I have to figure out what he is. If you know that that symbol, let me know. And then I did get a couple of creamers. Now I did pay $5 for this. She reminds me of Bessie the cow. She's a little cow creamer. Isn't she cute with her little blue bell? Ding, ding, ding. And look at her curls. She's got little curls on her hair, on her head. But she's got some bags underneath her eyes. Girl, she's been up late milking. Or someone's been milking her. Um, it was $5, but I just liked it. It probably had a creamer or a sugar bowl that went with it. But again, you can put an airplane in here and it's a little vase. And then this, I just really liked. It was just different. It's a souvenir piece. It's from Old Faithful in Yellowstone Park, which Old Faithful is the geyser. But look, it's a little creamer. Jeffrey thought it was a nuclear bomb. That would be disturbing. But this is the geyser. Old Faithful, look, and there's a little deer there, and there's a little squirrel and a, a bear. Yeah, you're a bear. But it has a decoration all the way around the side. I like the ombre effect here, but that's not a nuclear bomb. That is the Old Faithful, the geyser. Just a fun little piece. I liked it. And then the last thing that I am going to show you today that I bought from there are the set of three royal blue fire king stackable mugs um there are these are in pretty good condition but there is some wear marks i don't think that they've ever been in the dishwasher if they had they would probably be a little bit in, in worse shape the blue color is still very very vibrant now this is sprayed on the blue is sprayed on you can see it's milk glass underneath but they are three are all fire king and around the black or around the rim, they're painted black. And so some of the black paint has some wear to it from use, but there are three of them. And I'll show you like this one here has a little, has some chipping around the, the rim there, but I couldn't leave it behind. I paid $2.95 each for them. I just couldn't leave this one behind. I felt bad. I felt bad for, I couldn't leave you behind. But this one, actually, you know, they, they all have, they all have some rough spots on them. So maybe Misty shouldn't have even bought these, but I still think that they're great. I loved the blue collar. It isn't a collar that I see very often. It has the C formed handle. I just thought that they were fun and we'll see. We'll see. You know, sometimes you buy things and you, you, you don't know if you should have or not and we'll see we'll see so let me know if you need some blue fire king mugs maybe you do maybe you need some to complete your set and you like to have them just used for display because honestly these don't hold a lot of coffee and i think we drink a little bit more coffee these days have you ever tried maybe you do use these coffee cups but don't use these if you're using a keurig because it'll overflow trust me i know i know it'll overflow the cup just, just trust me on that one. I've heard it from somewhere that it does that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will link the, the shop with me video down below if you haven't seen it. 
and it's a lot of fun. It's a fun video. Jeffrey and I always have a lot of fun when we go outsourcing together. We were trying very, very carefully to not, you know, overlap and do the same filming. So you're not getting a, like a double dose of the same stuff. So we were, we were trying really hard to do that. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in anything, you can send me an email, thriftyourjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Make sure that you are subscribed to me and hit the bell notification so you'll know every time that I do go live, which I do quite often. I do go live quite often. And make sure that you're following me on Instagram. Also, every Monday night, I have the Vintage Rescue Squad on my YouTube channel. It's just a live hangout chat where we talk about vintage, antiques, and YouTube content and reselling it's a lot of fun and there's guests different guests on every week that's monday at eight o'clock eastern standard time and i think that's it i will see you in my next video thank you so so much and i'll see you later bye guys